Hello everybody. Today we are going to start the next exercise of chapter 3, exercise 3.2. Let us start with the first question. In the first question we have to evaluate these expressions using a number line. See I have drawn a num number line already in order to save time in the video. But during the exam you have to draw it during the uh, exam you have to draw it. Now they have asked you to find out the value of 4 plus minus 5 using a number line. Now when it is a addition plus sign outside the bracket and a minus sign inside the bracket that means actually we are going to subtract isn't it so this is equal equivalent to 4 minus 5 now when it is minus 5 you know that in order to decrease we move towards the left so for subtraction we will move towards the left okay now in the number line we know we have to start from 4 and move towards the left 5 times so I will keep space on the left of 0 so I need to start from 4 so I will at least keep 5 4 3 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 see that the points are equispaced now let us do the sum we will start from 4 okay so we've started from 4 and we have to move on the left 5 times how many times 5 times which direction left why left because this is minus plus and minus will give you a minus so let's move left 5 times 1 2 3 4 and 5 where did we reach minus 1 so my answer is minus 1 let us do another one minus 4 plus 5 so we will start from minus 4 so minus 4 we know is on the left hand side of the 0 and we have to add 5 so this is addition and this is also positive so we will increase so for increasing we move towards the right so I need space this side so I will start from minus 5 and I will move towards the right so I don't need too much on the left of minus 4 so I will start from minus 5 minus 5 1 extra okay minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 start from minus 4 we started from minus 4 and we will move towards the right 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 where did we reach 1 so my answer is 1 ok let us do another one one sub part 3 so we will start from 7 and we have to move 3 times now in which direction so since this is plus and this is minus so together they will give you a negative sign so or you can also remember in this way that if two these two signs are different then we will subtract so we will move towards the left and if these two signs are same then we will move towards the right you can remember in this way also if both the signs are same then we move towards the right and if the signs are different then we move towards the left so the signs are different so negative so we will move towards the left we will start from 7 so we will start from 7 and move towards the left so in the number line I don't need too much after 7 so I can start from 8 1 extras I will always keep on the number line 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so I will start from 7 I will start from 7 and move left 3 times 1 2 3 
where did I reach? 4. So my answer is 4. Another one. Minus 6 plus minus 2. So we will start from minus 6. And you can see two different signs. So if it is two different signs, then which direction will I move? Left direction. So I will start from minus 6 and I will move towards the left. That means minus 7, minus 8. So I need more of this side. So I will keep less of this side. So I can start from plus 1 over here and 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10. At least keep more this many extras on both sides of the number because we will move two times either left or right so there must be at least these two extra numbers on either side of the numbers see you have to manipulate the number line before you draw otherwise how will you know which range to draw then you have to draw a huge number line which will go outside your paper and still you won't be able to do the sum so you have to do little bit of manipulation so we will start from minus 6 so let's start from minus 6 and we will move two times towards the left why left because the signs are different one two where did we reach eight so the answer is minus eight i hope this much is clear to you let's move on to question number two now this you have to do without using number line this was discussed in the previous exercise also that when you need to open brackets and if the signs are different then you subtract either plus minus or minus plus then you subtract and if both are same then you then it becomes actually addition or plus sign so minus 35 so the signs are different so that will be minus 47 again if both the signs are same let's come to the rough column both the signs are same minus 35 minus 47 so when signs are same you add the absolute values of these two numbers so 5 plus 7 is 12 carry 1 8 and both are minus so the answer will also be minus so it is minus 82 next minus 203 plus 501 so minus 203 plus 501 now see here we need not uh, we did not require to do any sign change because this was one in in the beginning and if there is nothing over here that means there is a plus sign over here so we ignore this and whatever number is given in the beginning we write it down now since the sign of these two numbers are different we have to subtract so subtract the smaller number from the bigger number okay so this is 11 this becomes 11 and this becomes 9 and this becomes 4 so 11 minus 3 8 9 minus 0 9 and 4 minus 2 is 2 now whenever you subtract you must always see that check whether your subtraction is correct or not how will you check whether your subtraction is correct if you add these two you must get this number back so let's add these two 3 plus 8 11 carry 1 10 carry 1 5 so i got this number back that means this answer is correct so it is 298 now let's see what will be the sign of this answer come back here let us see what is the sign of the larger number or the greater number plus so the answer will be plus if the greater number would have been negative then the answer would have been negative i will try to do another sum for you in this context question number two sub part five i'm doing it here two sub part five 2 sub part 5 is minus 36 plus 29. 
so that is minus 36 plus 29 no change because nothing of in over here means addition plus sign is there so if plus sign is there then whatever sign is it's come back here so now again we have two numbers with two different signs so we have to subtract when signs are different we subtract so subtract the smaller number from the bigger number okay let's subtract so this will be 2 and so 16 and 16 minus 9 will be 7 okay so now this is 7 now what will be the sign of this number answer come back here which is a greater number 36 what is the sign of 36 minus so the answer will be minus whenever you get the final answer you must write ans in this way beside it and you can either make a box or give a double line let us come here for sub part 2 question number 3 is quite simple it is same as this one so you can do on your own 4 sub part 2 minus of minus 30 we have already learnt that if both the signs are same then it is plus or addition so this is equivalent to plus 30 so what will be this is not there in the book but still I am doing what will be minus of plus 30 two are different signs so it will be minus 30 what will be plus of minus 30 two different signs so minus 30 hope this concept is clear because you will be needing this concept over and over again Now let's come to it. question number 5. In question number 5, we will be doing additive inverse. Now what is an additive inverse? I will be writing here. Additive inverse of a number is a number which when added to it gives you 0. Or in other words, for every number, there is a number such that if you subtract from 0 whatever you get is the additive number basically the additive inverse of a is minus a of minus a is a so just the number of the opposite sign so what is the additive inverse of 9 you will write the statement in full okay is equals to minus 9 let's check that is if you add the number with its additive inverse it should give you 0 see it is 9 minus 9 which is 0 so what is the additive inverse of minus 11 plus 11 just the opposite see let's check here minus 11 plus of plus 11 which is equals to minus 11 plus 11 that is you give 11 take 11 so the negative so resultant is 0 so this is the answer this is the answer okay this is the answer what is the additive inverse of minus 37 I am writing in short inverse is equals to minus 237 will be plus 237 and what is the additive inverse of plus 567 this is plus no so it will be minus just the opposite sign this is the answer Always maintain a rough column in your exercise books and also during your exam. Now let's come to a very special question which is question number 6. Write an integer that is its own additive inverse. So in order to find the additive inverse of any number we subtract that number from 0. 0 minus that number will give you the additive inverse. So 0 minus 0 is 0. So 0 is the integer who is equal to its additive inverse. See, the additive inverse of 0 is 0 is 0. So the answer is 0. Now, integer that is 4 more than its additive inverse. Now, let us first discuss the examples that we have taken before. Suppose the one that we did 9 and its additive inverse minus 9. Can you see what is the gap between these two numbers in the number line? This is 0 plus 9 is on this side 
and minus 9 is on this side. What is the gap between these two? 9 plus 9, 18 units, isn't it? So, we can say that if the gap or the difference between the two is given, the number is half of the gap. I repeat, let us take 9 and minus 9 for example. 9, this is the number line, plus 9 is on this side of the number line and minus 9 is on this side of the number line. Now, this is means what? 9 units are there on the left of 0 and 9 units are there. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In this way, 9. So, 9 on this side, 9 on this side. So, what is the total gap between the two? 18. So, this gap is actually equal to twice this number. So, what will be the gap between 6 and its inverse minus 6? 6 to the 12. What will be the gap between 12 and its minus 12 and 12? 12 to the 24. What is the gap between minus 40 and plus 40? 14 to 2? 80. So, here they have told you that the difference is 4. Again, we need to also find out that here in this question, you have been asked to write down the greater number, see, an integer that is 4 more than its additive inverse. So, I have to write the greater number. Now, if there are two numbers, now what is a half of 4? 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, I assume that the two numbers are plus 2 and minus 2. 2 units left of 0 and 2 units right of 0. So, you can very well see that plus 2 is 4 more than minus 2. So, from minus 2, if I move 4 units, I will get plus 2. And in between these two numbers, minus 2 and plus 2, which number is greater? The positive number plus 2. So, the here the answer is 4 divided by 2 which is equals to plus 2. Why divided by 2? I have explained here. Why plus 2? Because we have to write here the greater number because they have asked 4 more. So, obviously the greater number and between plus 2 and minus 2, the plus 2 is always greater. Let us come here. 6 apart 3. Integer that is 2 less than its additive inverse. 2 less. The number is less. So, we have to find out the smaller number. So, what is 2 divided by 2? 1. So, the required integer is? So, what are the two numbers? 1 and minus 1. So, which one is smaller between these two? Minus 1. So, required number is equals to minus 1. These two are very important questions. You must go through this over and over again.